the great Bolshoya Sovietskaya Encyclopedia was the great encyclopedia, Soviet encyclopedia at the time of the communist regime. And there is something interesting there. There is an entry about Bering Sea between Alaska and the former Soviet Union. And for some reason, this entry is very long, some dozens of pages. And the question is, why should the great Soviet encyclopedia give such a, a lengthy treatment of the Bering Sea? You have to look at those pages or go to earlier versions of the Soviet encyclopedia to find the answer. There's been another guy this gentleman, Lavrenti Beria, who was the head of the KGB, he liked in his spare time to kill people. You know, he was the head of the KGB and he helped Stalin. Then came Khrushchev and somebody shot this uh, guy and he was hero of the people. So the great Soviet encyclopedia had a long entry at the letter B on Lavrenti Beria. Now what do you do when the hero of the people is just, you, you wish he never existed, no problem. People of the Communist Party went to every house in the Soviet Union. Give us back volume B, we, we will give it back to you. And then, you know, you had to do something with the missing pages, so the Bering Sea, uh, <laughs> the, the, the entry became larger. I want to argue that there is something unique about quantum mechanics, and that is that it sometimes rewrites history similar to that of the Soviet Encyclopedia.